Hello everybody, welcome back to the Jojo Lux YouTube channel. For those of you that haven't already, I would love it if you would join me by subscribing. Um, and also please, you know, do use the comment box. Let me know what you think. Let me know if there's any videos that you would like me to, to do. I'm always open to ideas. And actually today, wanted to film and I really wasn't sure what to cover so here we have it i thought you know louis vuitton seems to be quite popular i thought i would talk you through my entire louis vuitton bag collection so it's not going to include slgs or scarves or anything else that i can think of i might have that's louis vuitton that isn't a bag um, i thought i'd go through bags because well i love them the most and um my, my collection has has changed a little bit recently. There's been some more recent additions, but also my handbag collection as a whole, I have curated a bit ahead of my wonderful trip to Paris in March. I did sell a few bags actually, as much as it pains me, um, just so I could buy new bags. It's what we do. Um, I don't sell a lot, I don't sell often. It's very rare for me, very rare. It has happened, but it's very rare for me to have um, buyer's regret. Also, quite rare for me to have sellers regret as well. I normally think things through quite well and, you know, I mean, sometimes it can even take me sort of two years to gear up to selling a bag. Um, I get quite attached. Anyway, I'm going to talk you through all the ones that I've got. I'm not going to do full-on reviews for all of them, but I will just show you the bags. We'll have a little chat about them. And you know what? What the hell? I'll do some mod shots as well so you can see what they look like on. It's a collection video you may be browsing Louis Vuitton and uh, maybe this will help. So this, the order, I'm just, you know, I'm perched on the edge here because I have the bags here. The order I'm gonna go through is just sort of size-ish. I say ish because, you know, it's a, anyway. Bag number one. Um, for those of you that know my channel, you will know about this bag, definitely. It, features quite regularly. So this is my Neverfull in the MM size, in the monogram with the bright pink lining, a pivoine I think they call it, I probably pronounced that incorrectly, and um, yeah, you can see that my Vachetta leather, or Vachetta however you pronounce it, is, it's got a few watermarks, it's got a bit of fading, it's got some rubbing but overall I think it's a really nice kind of honey patina it's fairly even it's thin you know it's thin bits I don't really care so absolutely love this bag um, I have done a full review on it love it use it loads you can wear it like this as it comes or you can cinch in the sides like so so pinchy pinchy hold support and then pull the toggle down to pull the side in i'll do the other side as well what the hell to show you what that looks like i don't find this as you can tell i don't find this the easiest thing to do i find it a bit fiddly i also find it kind of pointless but it's an option and it's, you know what, with our bags, it's always nice to have an option. I just don't feel like it stays that well, but there it is. There it is cinched in as well, which does change the look up. I use this as a work bag. I use it to run errands. I read it. I use it to go shopping. I use it as a beach bag. Um, I'm probably going to use it as in like an additional travel bag when I travel at some point later this year. Probably, I haven't quite decided all of that yet. So yeah, that's what it looks like. Um, on the outside, nothing other than, like I say, under the, other than those um, toggles that you can um, cinch it in with, nothing to talk about. On the inside, it's got this thick lining, a little clip closure there, a zip pocket there, which is quite ample. And I've kept um, this pochette that comes with it that you can either use as, you know, like a little wristlet or you can also attach that to the 
D-ring there that I forgot to show you a minute ago. Um, so yeah, great bag and I honestly don't think you can go too wrong with buying one of these. In terms of prices, yes they've increased, but I still think it offers quite good value, you know, particularly compared to some other Louis Vuitton bags that you can get for how much you can use this. Um, it's sturdy but lightweight. I don't worry about it in the weather. I don't baby it. It's hard wearing and you can fit everything you need in it. So yeah, great bag. Love it. That's bag number one. Bag number two, um, and you can see why I'm denied about capacity. So this is my Palm Springs in the MM size in monogram. And I also really like the fact that it comes with this black leather. The straps on the back are super spongy. Look at that. It's so comfy to wear. And I used this actually when I recently did a work trip. I tend to use this as a, a, a like a, a travel bag, like an overnight bag, um, particularly if I'm doing a lot of walking because, like I say, these straps are so comfy, so even if this is really heavy, it's still quite comfortable on my back. It's got this front pocket here which unzips and you can fit actually a fair bit in that. My umbrella fits in, so if you want to, you know, if you think the weather's going to be a bit dodge, um, often is in England, and you want to have your umbrella, you know, a fairly, you know, fairly reachable without having to open the bag and delve into it, then you can't do that. Personally, I don't, I don't have many rucksacks, and I don't find them the most usable of bags. If I'm honest, I prefer, you know, like the Nerdful to have a, a, a tote. But if I know I'm going to have it on my back for a while and not have to go in and out of it, then I like a rucksack. But if I, if I'm wearing a bag and I want to, you know, take stuff out. It's no good. I'd have to have maybe my main things in this and then a separate like wallet on chain or something for, you know, phone cards. Um, but like I say, this is a great bag. If you want a backpack, this is great. Now, originally when I bought this, it was to put my work laptop in and use as a day bag going to work for those extra. So small little handbag and then this for laptop shoes and whatnot. My current work laptop is too big for this. This will only take, you know, a relatively smaller laptop because although it's got a fairly decent height because of this curvature, it, it cuts off. So, like I say, if you do want it for that purpose, then um, do check first the dimensions, basically. Um, it may or may not, depending on the size of the laptop. So yeah, mine is the older version, so it has this lip over the zip but I'll show you how easy it is to get in you know, see like that there we go there's one there's the other um, I've got some air paper in that I haven't taken out yet but the lining is just like a cotton and then it's got a interior flat pocket at the back um, and that's it like I say it's a good bag it's not my favourite bag I don't use it the most frequently you can see why it's, it's the access basically it's doing those zips they are fairly stiff, but if you're only going into it a couple of times and you you know, want to just wear it to get somewhere, then it's a really good bag. I'm not selling this, I'm, you know, I don't, whilst I don't use it that frequently, it does have a use. Now, often when I talk about handbag collections and the thought process between buying a bag, I talk about, you know, I talk about a big competition between bags and I always think about a use. I don't have many bags with this function in mind, so absolutely not selling it. It is a really great bag, um, it's just not convenient for getting in and out of quickly, that's that's literally the only downside. So that is my Palm Springs in the MM size in monogram. Next, this is actually the only leather Louis Vuitton bag that I have in my collection now. I did sell my Clooney BB because since buying my Hermes Kelly, I um, just didn't reach for it. But that's fine, you know, I, I originally bought as a practice Kelly actually to see how I got on with that kind of top handle style. So this bag here, um, this I bought this um, pretty much around launch time of, of the Cussin. This is the Cussin 
MM. I love this bigger bag. I'm completely, I was influenced on this, completely. I'm gonna blame Tamara Kalinkic um, for this. I saw one photo of her with this bag and I was like, I want that bag. I was like, I don't need another bag. Don't need it. I want it. I kept looking at the picture over and over and I was like, yes, I want that bag. So my essay managed to get me one. So mine is in the khaki color. It is in this beautiful, stunning lamb skin. If you open it up, really so different to the backpack really smooth um zip there it has three sections a front section and a back section that are very similar it's got this beautiful bright blue lining as well if i unzip it fully you can see there it's got a little tab there mine was made in france um you can see this lovely microfiber lining this is a real quality bag the again this is not cheap for louis vuitton um, but it's a real quality bag and then what this comes with is this gold chain and you can wear the bag just using the gold chain or you can you know just wear it as a like as a big big clutch which is quite you know more stylish than I am um, and then also, yeah, like I said, the middle section has a zip closure as well. So that's what it looks like all zipped up. And if you look at the bottom where you've got the three sections, you can see that the middle section is actually the largest. So whilst it's secure, it is the largest. Um, so yes, you can have it just with the gold strap. I mean, this bag is beautiful. The leather is... It's really soft because it's lambskin, but it's it's spongy and it's lovely. But it also does feel quite hard wearing actually. Um, and yeah, so you've got this shoulder strap that you can also clip on. And oopsies. And this shoulder strap, as you can see there, is adjustable. So that's great. You can you know, depending on you know how tall or big you are, you know you can get this at the right height um, but it also means that you can get it at the right height for how you want to wear it you know whether you want it on the shoulder whether you want it cross body and we're all different with that I think we all have different comfort levels I quite like a cross body to be quite high I don't like it too low um, and, and you can completely control that with this being adjustable so I haven't worn this bag very much I've just gone on and gushed about how beautiful and lovely it is and um, it holds it holds a fair amount. I'd say for its size, it doesn't hold a lot because none of the sections, because it, there, there's not a lot of depth to the bag. So it doesn't hold that much. I mean, you can get all your daily essentials in easily. But, you know, if, for example, you wanted to, like, fit an extra pair of shoes in or something, yeah, a pair of flats, great. You know, getting a pair of heels in here, you're going to make it all bulky and, and, you know, and whatnot. So for its size... This doesn't hold a lot, but it's more than ample to use for the day. You know, I've never, I haven't used this and gone, oh God, I can't fit my um, stuff in. So hopefully that helps. So I'll just sit that up just because I like things to be nice and done. So yeah, that is my Cousin MM in khaki. We go down a size now. We got a classic. <laughs> He's sleeping through it all as usual. So here we have a classic. We have my Pochette Matisse, and I'm, mine is in the reverse monogram. Um, this is a great bag. I used to use it more often than I do now. Um, I think in terms of my handbag collection as a whole, and this is what this is about, but in terms of my handbag collection as a whole, I would say my most used bags are my Hermes bags. I just seem to reach for them the most and love them the most. I can't help it. It's, well, it's why I have them. I wouldn't spend that money on them if if I didn't feel that way. And you know, I, I always believe that bags are to be used. Um, each of their own. If you want to buy them and you know 
stick them on a shelf and admire them, then you, you do that. But for me, handbags are to be used to fulfill their handbag destiny, to get out and about, and um, yeah, I buy them to use them. This is a really usable bag. Um, yeah, if I don't use my Hermes bags, and quite often it's because the weather's atrocious and I'm using Louis Vuitton canvas, not leather, but the canvas, um, and again, quite often they're never full. This is a brilliant bag. No, I've put a, um, I was going to say a twilly, but a bandeau, it's Louis Vuitton. I've put a Louis Vuitton bandeau over the handle there. Uh, I'm going to take that off. Um, but it has just got, because this is the reverse, it's just got the black leather on the handle, so no vachetta at all. So again, a great bag to use in the rain. On the back, we have a rather generous slip pocket there. You can fit your phone in. If you're, you know, if I'm traveling into London on the commute, then I'll put my travel pass there. I'll probably put my, um, you know, pass card to get into my work building if I'm going to work there as well, and I can just zap it without even taking it out of the bag. So wonderful. To open it, we've just got this closure here, so you just pinch and lift. Mine's got the little plastic on there, which I would think was an addition to make them less scratchy on the hardware. Doesn't look particularly scratched, so I'm fairly happy with that. An adjustable strap here, also in the reverse monogram, and that has five holes, so it's reasonably adjustable. And I've got it on the uh, second shortest. <laughs> yes. Like my bag's reasonably high and I'm a short ass. Um, inside the bag, this, this bag is so me, you know, I really should make the effort to use it a bit more actually. Um, I think one of the reasons I don't use it as much as I used to is because since Covid came and I'm largely working from home, so I mean all my bags are used less than they used to be. Let's, you know, because I don't go to that many places, so <laughs> a lot of the time I use a bag is to go to work, and if I'm not going to work, then I'm, you know, I'm here and I'm using a different bag to walk the dog. But since doing that, it means that whenever I'm going into the office, I'm not leaving my laptop there, I'm having to carry it in with me. So I would use this bag if I was then taking a separate laptop bag but um, I wouldn't use it as a standalone bag because you know, obviously this is no way going to fit in my laptop. I wonder if it would fit in a mini iPad. Shall we see? Shall we just see that quickly? Because I'm just curious and I know it's such a popular bag for good reason and I'm still going to waffle on about it for a bit longer. Okay, so here is my mini iPad. Ooh. Now that went in, I've put it in the middle pocket, but that went in really easily. Go in the front pocket as well, you can see there. Um, can it go in the back? It will, it will, yeah, and that makes it nice and secure actually. So it does go into, it wasn't, didn't slip in quite so easy, it was slightly grippy. But that back pocket, if you wanted to, you know, keep it separate from anything else, then you could just do that and, you know, it still closes pretty easily. Um, so yeah, so that's a little, yeah, you can see that came out really easily, so that's a little bit of learning for us. So mini, that's the mini, so mini iPad does fit in all three sections. Mine was, yeah, mine was made in France and yeah, I really love this bag. Um, no doubt someone will point out something that's slightly off or wrong with it, but I've not noticed any glazing issues or stitching issues or anything. I know that these did have some um, faults. Oh, we've got a bit of tiniest crack to the canvas there. It's on the inside. It's how the bag goes. I'm not actually that bothered by it. This to me again is not as much as an ever before, but again it's a little bit of a workhorse bag. The other use is, this is as great as a day bag, it's great for having this organisation means you don't have to have loads of pouches and extra things. You need, like I say, a um, mini pochette does fit in here if you wanted that, but you don't need to have that. So I like a bit of organisation, I like having this segregation 
because I will, you know, probably put like a card holder in the back. Um, my umbrella fits in this main section. Um, yeah, phones in the front or, or whatever. Like I say, I I tend to categorise my belongings. Um, you know, so maybe payment, um, cosmetics, and umbrella, phones. If I've got my work phone as well, and, and yeah, I like that organisation. So yeah, crossbody or shoulder wear. This is also really great, I think, as a like a city break bag if you're sightseeing, because again, you can get a fair amount in there. So you know, you can get you know an umbrella and sunglasses depending on what you're doing. So you're prepared for for the weather. And again, it's just nice and secure, and you can put use the back pocket for your phone if you're in and out taking a lot of photos, but it's still secure and against your body. I'm really glad that I got the reverse. I wanted the reverse. I could have got the normal monogram a bit quicker. I waited three months of my essay to get this. Some years ago, you, know, you can see that this bag has been used. It's, I mean, there's nothing really wrong with it, but it's, you can just tell it's not, you know, it's got a bit of movement to it. It's not pristine. Um, but yeah, it's a great bag, and I am really going to go to the effort to use this more. I know I do sell, I do sell bags if I don't use them at all, but I can see myself using this, and I like the fact that I don't have to baby it or worry about it. You know, especially with bad weather, um, I'm just going to have to use a laptop bag a bit more, I think, and use this as a you know a really good day bag. But absolutely love this and anyone that's thinking about this if you've got any questions again do let me know and ask away in the comments box but this is a definitely a great a great bag it's very usable right i've waffled on more than i thought sorry final two these are newer ones so i have my multi pochette accessoire which you will be familiar with if you are familiar with my channel I got mine in the khaki version. You've basically got, you know, sort of three sections in one. If you wear the bag, you know how it's positioned and sold, then you are going to have this front bag clipped onto this bigger bag, and then you are going to have your car key strap attached to the bag dum -dum -dum. and then you are going to take your little round zippy coin purse and attach it to this d-ring on the strap so that is it in all its glory as designed and I have worn it like this. I've also worn just the smaller pouch if I'm running an errand and this is my iPhone 13 Pro, the normal not the big size and that fits in just easily. This is a little bit bigger than the mini pochette um, and it just makes it that much better so in my opinion, just that little, just literally that little mm. centimetre or two means that you can get your, you know, this size phone in and out. I mean, if not, you've got the larger section. Mm. So you can wear it like that. You can use just, just the front one. Often, I wear just this larger pochette, so a bit like the normal um, pochette accessoire, not the multi pochette. And then I bought, which I know I don't really need when I show you the next bag, I bought this longer adjustable strap so I can just wear this cross body if I don't want the thick khaki strap. You know, because if you're wearing this with, say, a summer dress and you want to just wear the, the bigger sections, a little, you know, a few, few items, mm. nice and you can see there it's not too fat, nice and flat to your body, then this looks great. Or if you want to use it with more wristlet, I've also got this smaller pouch, um, sorry, smaller strap. So the strap, not a pouch. Um, this shorter strap, which I believe is the strap from the standard pochette accessoire. So you've got that as well, and you can use it means you can have it as a you know wristlet or a short shoulder strap. So very versatile, you can wear this loads of ways and 
that's I think partly why I love it. Um, the mini coin pouch, you know, you can use that just, you know, you can even put like your AirPods in it if you want to use it as an AirPod case or use it as a, a change purse. Because this one's got the mm. clip as well, then you could use it with your Never Fall and clip it on a D-ring or any other bag that's got a D-ring. So, you know, just use it as a normal coin purse, not on this. So, a very, very versatile bag. Um, when I first bought this, I was a bit wary. I don't often go for trend pieces, and I was a bit wary about going for such a trend piece. Excuse me, I'm competing with the snoring of a beagle. Love him. Um, yeah, you have a nice dreams, my sweetheart. So this is a trend piece, but I can dissect it, and it's actually quite classic pieces, and that's why I, I got it and I'm, I don't regret it. This is actually one of my most used bags. Like I say, predominantly broken up, but it's used, so who cares? So my final bag to share with you is the cutest thing ever. Look at this little one, this teeny tiny bag. So this is my Nano Speedy. Mine is the newest one that was released this year, so um, 2021, and it's just adorable. I, I didn't really, I say this wasn't an impulse buy, I did, you know, try to get hold of it on, on launch. It was one of those bags that I tried to resist. I was like, look, it's a little tiny Dren bag. Um, you don't need it. You've got a wallet on chain. You've got small bags if you need them. You've got this if you want a small monogram bag. Look, here it is in your collection right here. Don't need this. I love this little guy. So, um, yeah, you're, you, I'm sure you're all familiar with this. This is Nano Speedy. It's got um, the fascetta leather, but it is pre-treated. So as you can see, if I compare it with this, because um, obviously this is a fairly new bag and I haven't used it that much. And if I compare it with this strap, which has been barely used, you can see there the color difference. So this is slightly pre-treated. I have used this and I have used it when it has rained. I mean, I've had a brolly with me, and I've, but I've been wearing it cross body. Didn't baby it. I can't see a single watermark on it. I mean, you know, I'm not endorsing going out in the rain and not getting marks on it, but I found it fine. Lovely, easy zip there. And again, exactly what I didn't need because <laughs> well, we bought this one. Um, it's slightly thicker though. This one is slightly thicker than that strap. And of course it's nice because it's also pre-treated. So yeah, it comes with an adjustable strap which has one, two, three, four, seven holes. Um, and again, I've, I think I've got some in the middle actually. But I love this bag. I also quite like how it's nice and nice chunky clip there, which is, as you can see, a lot bigger than I've got on this strap. Look at that difference. So yeah, it comes with a long strap. Now the improvement, I'm going to call it an improvement, the improvement they made from the original, or I said the, the nano speeder that we did have, you know, bef before this year, um, as well as making this smaller, so this is now the same dimensions um, as the original, they didn't call it the nano speedy, was it the HL? Um, the other nano speedy was, was bigger than this. So the other nano speeder held more, but also because it had a greater depth, it didn't sit so flush against the body. I, I'll show you in the mod shots, I love this little guy. And I have actually used it without the strap and just used it like that if I'm just popping somewhere, especially if I'm in the car. If I'm in the car, I don't want a big shoulder strap because all it's doing is adding weight to the bag, making the bag flop about on the normally the passenger seat. And I don't need it, I'm just picking it up. So I just need a top, you know, some sort of handle. So this is a great bag. I've used this a fair, not 
not that much because I've not been anywhere but I've used it a bit and I think I will use it more than I have already um, I'm not feeling like this was a bad buy mine was also made in France I got one for the price increase as well which was great and it just holds loads I mean check out my Instagram there's always a link to it in the description box below there's photos of me wearing this there's photos of how much fits in I've done other videos on it um, so yeah, this is my final Louis Vuitton bag, and it's a good one, super light, packs an almighty punch. That's it. For those of you that got to the end and thought, my God, how can she be this long talking about five bags? Mm -hmm. um, six bags, even. One, two, three. Six bags. We have six Louis Vuitton bags. Um, mm -hmm. Crazy handbag lady, what can I say? I'm going to leave you now with some mod shots and yeah, any questions do let me know and um, do take care. I hope you're having a nice weekend, evening, day, whatever you're doing and I will see you soon for another video on who knows what. Uh, if anyone's got any video requests then like I say, do let me know because sometimes I run out of inspiration. Take care everybody, bye.